Um, welcome from my side as well to our field report about using Cape Open to couple HRI's exchange suite with Linda's general multi-phase property system, also called GMPS. Uh, my name is Stefan Gewald. I'm an equipment design engineer at Linde Engineering. I design straight to PD exchanges on a daily basis using HRI's exchange suite. And I would like to share our experience with Cape Open, which we have gained over the last months after we decided to use it within our heat exchanger design process. So firstly, I will talk about the background and the motivation why we decided to use Cape Open and where we see the major benefit for us. I will quickly explain how we integrated Cape Open into our daily workflow. And finally, I will present a review with pros and cons from our side um, that we've uh, yeah, gained over the last months. So first of all, uh, in order to explain why we thought about using Cape Open, um, I have to elaborate a bit on the typical straight to exchange design workflow that we have. So everything starts with a process simulation using a process simulator, like for example, Unism. This process simulation software has a link to our GMPS in order to let the process simulation uh, be based on the physical properties, uh, on our internal physical properties that we have. And once the process simulation is done, everything is being transferred to a so-called process and equipment specification platform via a transfer file. So uh, the unit operations, the stream data, everything will be transferred to this specification platform. And this platform also has a link to our GMPS in order to be able to run special calculations, recalculate fluid streams, or to do special calculations, like for example, for safety considerations. Um, once the data is available in the process and equipment specification platform, my work starts as an equipment design engineer. And the first thing I do is that I generate the property tables that I need for the heat transfer and pressure drop calculations. And the tables basically contain the physical properties of each fluid stream at certain temperature and pressure steps. And ideally, those temperature and pressure steps cover the whole range of conditions inside the heat exchanger with a suitable <laughs> quality. Um, in order to create the property tables, I use a property tabulation app, which, uh, is, uh, in which was developed in-house and which is uh, part of the process and equipment specification platform. It's also linked to our GMPS, so I go into this uh, property tabulation app I uh, generate fluid property tables uh, by looking at the process data, and then everything gets loaded into the uh, pro process and equipment specification platform. And together with the process data, um, the property tables will then be sent to the exchange suite uh, from HRI, and uh, my work starts, um, and I, I try to optimize the heat exchanger design so that, um, yeah, we have uh, the, the smallest or uh, yeah, lowest possible weight, smallest size of the heat exchanger according to the process data. But during that process, it's often the case that uh, we have to modify the property tables because we might have to change the resolution or we might have to add additional temperature points. And in order to do that, I then manually go back to the property tabulation app that we have. I um, yeah, modify the settings uh, according to, to our needs. Then I load everything back into the process and equipment equipment specification platform. I recreate a new HRI exchange suite file that contains the new property tables. And finally, I manually copy those property tables into the HRI exchange suite file that I was currently working on. And then I'm able to rerun the calculation using the new property data. And um, this, this process, this loop, um, it's often required to do this loop a couple of times during the heat exchanger design. So this is quite a time consuming process for us and takes some time during the whole optimization procedure until we finally reach the, the, the optimum heat exchanger geometry, which we then upload to our process and equipment specification platform. And once this is done, my job is done. But it's quite obvious, I hope it's quite obvious now to, to see where uh, using Cape Open might provide a benefit for us. So by using Cape Open, we are able to get rid of the uh, property tabulation app and we're able to directly link HRI's exchange suite with our own Linda GMPS system. And this is possible because um, due to Cape Open, 
uh, it's possible to use GMPS not just as a process modeling environment, but also as a process modeling component, which can then be integrated or used in other PMEs, like for example, H2I's exchanger suite. In order to generate the fluid properties in H2I's exchanger suite, uh, we uh, we had to modify the data transfer between the PE specification platform and Exchange Suite itself. So it's now requ now required to not just transfer the process data, but also the, the fluid stream data, like for example the composition of the of the fluid streams. And uh, this also meant that the property tables are then not something which is coming from the PE specification platform, but which is then part of the output that we upload back to the PE specification platform. Once the um, once the design is has been finalized and once we are done with our job, um, so it, the the main benefit for us is that we that that this whole that that using Cap Open um, uh, makes it easier for us to to adapt the fluid properties according to the current design that we have. Uh, we don't have to go outside of the of the HGRI Exchange Suite file to update the properties. We can stay within the same file throughout the whole design process, but we can still keep the uh, fluid property consistency throughout the whole design process, because um, as you can see, uh, all the, the tools and, and software that we use, everything is based on GMPS. So uh, finally, a review from our side. So using Cape Open allows us to have a more efficient design workflow. We can yeah, stay within the same file. We can focus on the heat exchanger design optimization and do not have um, to spend much time on yeah, manual copying uh, of, of the property data. Another thing which is which is now possible, which was not possible before, is that um, by using Cape Open, we are now able to run special design calculations, like for example, differential flash calculations um, in case of two-phase application. Um, this is uh, this allows us to analyze specific problems um, from different perspectives. And we can uh, now um, estimate the true performance of the heat exchanger um, also by, by running those special calculations, which gives us more flexibility. Um, another advantage for us is that we uh, are now able to customize the generation procedure of the physical properties. So we can uh, modify or change the number of temperature steps, pressure, pressure steps, but also how uh, the um, the, the distance between the, the different temperature points, for example, are being calculated so we can switch between equal enthalpy steps or equal temperature steps, for example. And this is quite beneficial for us in case we are we having a, a fluid stream which is close to the critical pressure, for example. Um, since we are now able to adapt the fluid property tables quite easily, we can also now simply compare different design options in case we have more than one so we can adapt the, the property tables according to the specific uh, design option that we have and then we can be sure that we uh, really pick the, the most optimum design um, which uh, will then be processed further on our side. Um, another advantage for us is that we can quickly evaluate um, operating conditions other than the design conditions that we have. We can analyze upset cases so, for example, if we say um, during an upset case, we might have a higher pressure on one, one side of the heat exchanger. What happens to the performance of the heat exchanger? We can simply change the pressure, hit the button to generate the fluid property sets, and then we can see how the performance of the heat exchanger will change. And finally, um, due to Cape Open, or by using Cape Open, we can also design heat exchangers outside of our process and equipment specification platform. We sometimes do that um, in case we have uh, we have to work on proposals. Uh, we can still be sure that we are using the right GMPS properties, but it's not necessary for us to really go via the PE specification platform. Uh, one thing that I would consider neutral is that um, at the, with the current state of the interface, it's only possible to um, calculate pseudo critical constants, so pseudo critical pressure and and critical temperature. Um, the methods from HRI's exchange suite um, require the true critical constants, but um, um, it's not possible at the moment to, to transfer the true critical constants. But I, I just heard last week that HRI has been working on this um, and then might have 
um, modified uh, yeah, the opportunities that you have in the latest version, which is uh, going to be released soon. So maybe we can remove this point in the near future, and then we are able to fully use uh, the CAP Open interface in our, in our regular workflow. Another thing that I would consider neutral is that it took quite some effort on our side to set up the whole property generator uh, module inside HRI's Exchange Suite. But that's mainly because um, uh, the, there's a lot, there was a lot of trial and error involved with the um, API from HRI. There's not too much documentation available, but we've done that now and it's, it's finalized and we can use it. So we are happy with it. And last but not least regarding the negative points or drawbacks, we haven't really found some. I, I asked many of my colleagues, but uh, everybody is happy with it. And uh, that's also why I would like to conclude uh, our report with a comment that I often hear from colleagues who start to work with Cape Open and who start to learn about its benefits. And uh, the comment perfectly summarizes our experience with it. All I can say, we are happy.